what to do if a pen drive is not detected in Windows 10. So how would I write a content for this? Now I have to write a content for this based on my own experience, knowledge, research or whatever I do. Or like ma'am asked initially, I use a software called ChatGPT. Okay, for educational institutions, for students and other stuff, please refrain people from using ChatGPT. It will not allow people to think on their own. But if you are a professional, if you are a business owner, if you are someone who is working for someone, productivity and the quality is very, very important. So take advantage of the tools like ChatGPT and you can ask ChatGPT to write a content about what to do if a pen drive is not detected in Windows 10. And I can tell ChatGPT to, okay, write a content in a storytelling method okay write a content in a storytelling method and now why am i going for a storytelling method is because i want to create a content that is interactive in nature with my you know audience and also uh, make sure i don't copy the content from someone <laughs> okay i just create the content in a storytelling method and it says once upon a time in a small town there lived a computer in thesis named alice she had a trustworthy Windows 10 laptop that she used for various tasks, blah, 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 blah. Everything is there. Now it has actually returned the content for me. Frustration. So check the basics. Try different USB ports. Reboot your computer. Check disk management. Assign a drive letter. Update the USB driver. Data recovery. At the end, Alice managed to solve the problem by assigning a drive letter to her pen drive. Okay, all this. So now I got a content that is related to how to troubleshoot a pen drive on Windows 10. Okay. If I am a business owner who is selling a pen drive, I will write a content about how to troubleshoot this pen drive and finally I will also write a content about if your pen drive is not working, it is a time to do your own research on online platform and buy a new pen drive and I would tell them it would be great if you could buy a pen drive from Amudo Kumar's manufacturing. That means I am the manufacturer of the product. Okay, I can tell them that I can buy the pen drive for this particular price. Okay. So, by helping people, by creating a content around the topic or subject, whichever I want to tell to people, I help them at the maximum level and finally when the product doesn't work, I give them an opportunity, why don't you buy one online right now. So, as a result, when people don't find a result for whatever their product which they are looking for, they may end up buying a new product and this is how we create a content and post it into our websites. Okay, And we drive, attract visitors like a magnet, magnet attracting iron. Okay, So, people come. Mm, they fill up the form, mm, they provide their customer blocks, email address, phone number, everything, and we connect with them, and that is how we sell the product or services. Okay, great. So, Mr. Harsha Gangavane asked, Is the long keyword workful for such engine? So, when you create a long tail keyword or a short tail keyword or whatever it may be, when we try to create a content and post it in the initial days or initial time, okay, uh, we cannot guarantee that it will rank at the top. Now we can use tools like Search Console, Google Analytics to understand how many people came to the website, how many people did this research and how many people clicked on your website, how many people stayed on your website, what are the words that you are ranking for, then based on which you have to make a ongoing continuous changes on your website. So SEO is a growth process. It's a gradual growth. So we have to fine tune like a old cable TV where you switch on the television the TV will come with lots of grains. Now you have to take your remote and fine tune little bit, little bit, little bit, so that you get a clear picture. The same way, SEO is an ongoing process. Okay, where we have to make changes based on the data insights that we get. Okay, <laughs> yes, sir. So <clears throat> this is how we best generally do a keyword research and create a content. So there are tools like Google Keyword Planner, Semrush. HDFs and if you are really interested to explore about all this, just do a Google research and you will find out about all these tools and if you feel you want to get trained about all these tools, now you might have a choice or opportunity to connect with any of the digital marketers out there in the industry who is willing to teach you and spend time and do it for your real time projects. Okay. So these are all the tools that are actually available. Great. Now, I wrote the content. Now content writing is almost like writing in a book. Okay. Now, when it comes to SEO, SEO is of two types. One is called on-page SEO and another one is called off-page SEO on technical SEO. Which means, you do some activity that is related to search engines. Search engine is a machine. A machine can understand a machine language like C, C++, Java, PHP. But humans, we create the content. We understand languages like Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Urdu, Malayalam. 
But computers understand languages like C, C++, Java, PHP, Python, HTML and all this stuff. <laughs> the problem here is it is something like this. Okay. A person who knows only Tamil and a person who knows only Hindi, how will they communicate? Correct. Now we need some intermediator who can explain it in the right way or a translator. The same way, as a business owner, I can create a content and publish it. Other human being is going to read the content on the other end. But what if, if this computer is showing a wrong information to the people? You know very well, right? The word which is in Tamil has got a different meaning in English. The word which is there in Tamil has got a different meaning in Malayalam. Some good words in Tamil are bad words in Malayalam. Some good words in Telugu is a bad word in English. Now, how would we you know solve this problem? That is when we do some activities. Okay? So, some activities like <coughs> search engine optimization, especially on page SEO. Which means there are some checklists which we need to follow. Whenever we are trying to create a content, a content contains several information. Please visualize like a newspaper. Whenever you go through a newspaper, the newspaper will have a brand name. For example, The Hindu. Correct? So, The Hindu is the name of the brand. Just visualize a newspaper, that will be a really great choice. Okay? Now, this The Hindu will have headlines top headlines of today. Those headlines will be bold, bigger in nature. For example, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu is visiting Coimbatore. Let me take it as an example. As a mm, preview event of Olympics 2024. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the title. Okay, now what is the core concept here? Visiting, I mean, Chief Minister visiting due to Olympics 2024. This is a concept. Now, this is going to be the title of the content. So, whenever you write an article, we will have a title, we will have subtitle, we will have more than one subtitle, for example, three to four subtitles. Let me say four subtitles. Okay, we will have an image added inside, we will have a video added inside, title, subtitle, image, video, correct, and we will so we also will have, you know, uh, introduction. Okay, and finally we will also have a conclusion. Okay, some tips, tricks and all this stuff. So, whenever we try to write a content, we will have a title, introduction, subtitle, image, video and conclusion. So, when we try to write an article, we will have a word that is very important to rank for and that we call it as a keyword. So, which keyword to write a content on? That is when we did a process called keyword research. Okay, now here, so CM visiting Okay, there is no date, but for all this, 2024. This is what I want to rank for. So, what I am supposed to do when I start writing a comment about this particular topic? I need to make sure that I add this keyword inside my title at least once, inside my introduction at least once inside my subtitles, whatever I talk about, at least once. If I have an image, if I have a video in the conclusion. So, I need to make sure that I add all these keywords inside and also in the URL, URL section. So, I may not be able to create a content and show it to you live, but I am going to show you a content which is live in the internet, which will help you, you know, for us. For example, universities in Coimbatore. Coimbatore in Wikipedia. Okay, so I am just searching some information about Wikipedia. Now, if you see, Google has given me some information for the content from Wikipedia. So, list of educational institutions in Coimbatore. And these are all the information. So, let me click open. Whatever the information that I see in Google search results is what I am supposed to see here. Okay, now if you see here, this is the Wikipedia, that is the brand name. And when I go, this is the title of the article or the content which is very bigger in size and all the stuff. So, list of educational institutions. Okay. Now, if I come down, this article is a list article. So, there are schools, there are government aided schools, there are private schools, colleges, engineering. If you see, these are all the subtitles like art and science, engineering, 
So this is one such example of a listicle, which means there will be a list that is being created. Okay. At the same time, if I search for Microsoft in Wikipedia, okay, Microsoft Wikipedia, so that I get a Wikipedia article because it is a very successful you know, platform. So when I click open, <coughs> you can see Microsoft is the title, Wikipedia is the brand name. If you see in this link, the word Microsoft will be used. If you see the article title for the users, that will also have Microsoft. The word will have title as Microsoft. And the first word will start with the keyword, Microsoft Corporation. And it will have lots of information about Microsoft. And there will be a subtitle, when it was found. It's almost like a newspaper report, whichever we write. Okay, so that is what it is. Okay, completely. So we create a content about all these topics. And in on-page SEO checklist, we need to have a kind of a list, a checklist of doing this, 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 and other stuff. 